What is going on guys? It is for DBZ1, 2, 3, and I'm back with some more Dragon Ball Z. Now today I have some new showering bomb breaking information about the next Dragon Ball Z game, which is called Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Now just a few days ago, just a few weeks ago actually, we got some, we got some brand new information of the mysterious character going Super Saiyan while fighting Ember 17 and 18. While, while, while with Vegeta, and plus we got um, the mysterious character and Yamcha talking to each other, which did look like an open world map. But it, just today, guys, just a few days ago, we did get to, we did get an exclusive interview from the game producer, which I cannot pronounce his name. But in the interview, he did talk about the game's graphics, music, um, um the environment destruction in the uh, in the game, pretty much the battles, pretty much stuff like that, the graphics and the um. And the balance while developing the four platforms that the game will be available for guys. Now this game will be available for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, and Xbox 360. So the first question we did get was so far what we've seen on Dragon Ball Xenoverse comes from a prototype version. Will the game change much visually? Will graphics be improved? Or have we seen or ha or have we already seen something close to a final result? Now here's the answer that the game producer did give. What we shown as a what we shown was a preview. We're still work we're, we're still working on it. Obviously, graphics, expressions, actions, moves, everything will continue to evolve, especially on the Xbox One and the PlayStation Four. Now, guys, just think about it like this: for the PlayStation Four and the Xbox One, obviously we can predict the game probably going at 60 frames per second, um, 10.1080p. I mean, guys. There is no fat, there's obviously a big fat that probably on um, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 will run at possibly 30 frames per second at um, 720p. Guys, we do not know that for a fact, but according to the creator, we're working on the graphics, moves, and everything. Guys, I just can't wait to play the game. I mean, the graphics, they were looking good as is. The graphics are looking phenomenal. I just can't wait to imagine for the final products to be done. Alright, so let's move on to the next question. Now, for question number two, that's some guy asked. Well, speaking of graphics, what are the resolutions and the frame bits of the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 versions? 9, 900p or 1080p, 30 frames per second, or 60 frames per second? Now, guys, this is the answer that he gave. He, that he gave. We are... Sorry about that. We worked together on the old and new generation consoles, and we tried to offer the same experience at the moment. We, we strive the, of the best possible quality, especially of the new generations, and try to offer 1080p and the frame bits for seconds we are not sure yet. We are making several tests. We make adjustments to so that it's a fluid on all systems. Maybe we can give you an exact resolution if a frame bits at a later time. So guys, they're not sure about the frame bits. They're not sure now. When we think about the other Dragon Ball Z games, the graphics were really good. I have to admit guys, the graphics were very phenomenal. I mean the best graphics we did have at a Dragon Ball Z game lately, the best Dragon Ball Z game we've had Ever since Budokai Tenkaichi 3 was Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2. I mean, Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2 is a phenomenal Dragon Ball Z game. So, instead of talking about Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2, let's talk about Xenoverse. Now, for the next reason information we didn't have, it's which is question number 3, which is the number of available characters in the fighting game like Dragon Ball Xenoverse is important for the community. Do you think there will be enough to satisfy the fans of the franchise with a, a suitable roster? So, pretty much they're asking about the roster of the characters. Now, Here's the answer we did have. The number of characters at the present time is obviously not complete. We try to offer as much as possible where we cannot make a specific announcement for the, at this moment. We try to please the fans as possible and offer a wider content. So guys, they're not sure about it yet. They're not sure about the roster. Now, I know a lot of Dragon Ball Z fans, especially me, we want good rosters. We want to see what if characters. We want to see... We want to see some interesting characters. What if characters? I mean, the last what if characters we did have was from Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2 and also Tenkaichi. I mean, all, I know guys, also Tenkaichi. I'm not even going to get into that, but in Ultimate Tenkaichi, we did have two GT characters, which was Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron. But in Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2, we had Super Saiyan 3 Broly, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, and Vegeta's brother. Now, guys, when you think about Vegeta's brother, you think, man, he is not a what if character. He is not a what if character at all. But guys, he is a what if character. You never see him in a Dragon Ball Z game. So let's go on to our fourth question, which is, do you include music from, from the anime in this production? If so, 
will, will you not finally be able to enjoy the music? And all right, so here's the answer we got. In Dragon Ball Xenoverse, we'll, we'll do something completely new for sounds and music. We start from scratch and adapt it with all with the new Dragon Ball Z game. It will not be able. It will not be the same music as in the anime. In addition, we are doing something completely new to all content, and we will use the same original music wherever it's Japan, America, Europe, and other countries. So guys, pretty much we're gonna be having different music now. I'm not a guy who cares about the music in the game. I don't care. I just focus on raw gameplay and fighting actions and anime and all that crap. I don't care about the music. I mean. Just throwing some good music in there, good graphics, 60 frames per second, 1080, 1080p on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. We got a good drive once again, you know where you put it. Alright, so let's go to question number 5, which was, there has been a debate on whether this Dragon Ball Z game mixes about, mixes combat and exploration. Is that the case? Alright, so here's the question that, I think this question was very interesting, the answer we got out of it. And now, alright, so here it is. It will not be just a fighting game, we can also, we also explore new environments. With Dragon Ball Xenoverse, we want to offer a new Dragon Ball experience, not just for fans, but for everyone. Obviously, there will be a lot of fighting in the game and other things, which have not been revealed. When the people discover, they will be very, very excited to see what kind of game and what kind of gameplay they will experience. So guys, for this Dragon Ball Z game, a few days ago, a few weeks ago, we got a screenshot of the most serious character and Yonta talking to each other. So guys, it screams out open world. It just screams out open world. This is not scream out open world. I don't know what does. Now guys, does this mean we're gonna confirm open world? That's a question we cannot answer yet, but from what I've been seeing so far, now guys, this is just my opinion. I think this game is going to be open world. Either way you put it, this game has to be open world. What else can it be, guys? I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions. Alright, so let's go on to the next question. Alright, so can you tell us a bit more about the gameplay? For example, 2v2 against 2 will Will that be possible? If this is if this is the case, the player can, can can the player control multiple characters at once instead of a one v one fight. All right. So here's the answer we get we did get. I think the Dragon Ball series Dragon Ball Se Dragon Ball series is primarily one v one fighting. On the other hand, there will be also several group fights. We cannot reveal the exact number at the moment, but but we have we plan several possibilities for the fights that we will propose. This is not this is not yet the right time to say it, but we, as time goes on, we'll be giving you more information, so stay tuned. So guys, I know a lot of you guys are thinking, are we gonna have a 1v1, a 2v2, a 2v3, a 4v4? I mean guys, that was in Battle with Z. Now for Battle with Z, we did have a very good concept. It was a very good concept now. What do I see 2v2 being implemented in the game? Yes, that would be a very very good thing to be implemented in the game. I just, I, maybe a 2v2. I don't want to be seen like a 4v4. Maybe at least a 4v4. Not like a, a no, actually not a 4v4. Probably like a 2v2. I think 2v2 is the best. I mean, just everything out of the whole. 2v2, you and your friend fighting me. Like just having an epic brawl like Super Smash Bros. Alright. So, the main thing that a lot of Dragon Ball Z fans were asking for for Battle with Z are the stages huge and destructible. So, environment destruction. Now guys, I know a lot of Dragon Ball Z fans have been asking for environment destruction. So let's see what the answer is. Yes, thanks to um um yes, thanks to Dance Gear, we offer large environments, destructive and impulsive expo uh, explosions in all levels. We do not know exactly what will be the, the destruction and if anything can be or cannot. We are we'll, not going to use explain everything yet. But stay tuned because more information is coming your way. Guys, they're hiding everything right now. As time goes on, as the months continue, we will be getting more information. So, will there be environment destruction? Guys, it's pretty much confirmed. Environment destruction. I can't wait for that. That is going to be something interesting. Very, something very interesting, but they do not want to spoil everything yet. That's the one thing they're trying to tell us right now. They do not want to spoil every single little detail yet. But as time goes on, guys, we will be getting some more information. Alright, so... For um, question number um for question number eight, is it difficult to develop and organize the same game on multiple um, platforms at the same time? So here's the answer we did get. Yes, it is quite difficult for us to use um to work on all consoles at the same time. We are working we are working on not one but four different platforms. So we might find the right balance to provide the same content 
but the same quality is a whole different story. This is a big challenge for us, and we can assure that we'll be making most Dragon Ball Z fans very, very happy. Because guys, you can't blame Nickel Bandai. I mean, they're, really, they're not working on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. They are working on a lot, a lot of different programs, a lot of different platforms. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, at PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. Guys, they're working on a lot of platforms, so however the game comes out, it is going to be phenomenal. Alright, so for the final question we did get, we did get, alright, so the final question we did have is Battle of Z literally disappointing, Battle of Z is literally disappointing fans of the Dragon Ball franchise on consoles. Can you say a few words to reassure the community and give hope to more Dragon Ball Z fans? We understood Battle of Z reviews and all the, on all the comments from fans. We will rest assured that this game will be way better than Battle Z for quality, frame bits, and the whole fighting scene as a whole. Because guys, Battle of Z was not the worst Dragon Ball Z game. Was it a good Dragon Ball Z game? Yes. Was it a bad one? No. It was a decent Dragon Ball Z game. So, guys, you can almost guarantee that it's going to be better than Dragon Ball. That it's going to be better than Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. That is pretty much confirmed there. Alright, so for the one thing that the game producer promised. Now right, guys, when we make a promise, we want a promise. I don't want to fucking lie again. Alright, so the promise was, we guarantee that all Dragon Ball Z fans global around the world will be loving this game a lot. It will be better than Battle of Z and will provide a very new, different kind of experience. I hope he's right. I hope Dimps is right about this, because that's going to be a hard bargain to keep for Dragon Ball Z fans. But I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below of the video. So anyways, thank you all for watching this video. Next Dragon Ball Z game update video. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have, as always guys, be sure to give this video up to like and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. But what do you guys think in this interview? Do you think, do you guys think that this Dragon Ball Z game is going to be the best Dragon Ball Z game of all time, guys? That is a hard bargain. We know for a fact yet, but we're just going to have to wait and find out what the ha what's going to happen. And if you guys have not subscribed yet, I'll start recommending you so far away with Dragon Ball Z, news, information, and updates, as well as some walkthroughs, playthroughs, and much, much more. Hope you all enjoy. For Vegeta, guys, what's all good Twitter, and thank them. Hope you all enjoyed. Until the next, I'll be talking to you all later. Till then, peace out.